Hi, Timothy Unker here. In this video, I want to talk about editing remote files with Atom. I'm going to do that with a package that I'm going to install, and I'm also going to show you how we can create a markdown file on the remote server, change that to HTML with Atom, with something built into Atom, and uh, then you know easily create a blog online that you can update. Okay, so I'm going to open up the Atom text editor here, and I'm going to do control comma just to get my settings. Let's go to install and we're going to search for a package uh, FTP remote uh, should come up FTP remote edit and I'm going to click install. Okay. Once it's installed, the last thing I'm going to do is just go to the editor here and change the default font size to 16 versus 14, make it a little bit easier to see. Uh, so I'm going to go up to packages and go to FTP remote edit and hit toggle. And it's going to prompt me for a password. You're going to want to remember this, a password that you're going to enter when you use this package. So I'm going to do my password and I will retype the password that I'm coming up with and I'm going to click apply. Okay, so now we have this side panel come up here and there's a small thing right here. It says edit servers. Uh, it may be larger depending on your theme. If you're using the default theme, I think it's a bit larger. But anyway, so I'm going to click on that and uh, we're going to create a new server setting. So I'm going to click new and I'm going to be editing timunker.com. So I'm going to just type timunker.com as the name of the server. Now where it says local host here, what you're actually going to put in is the IP address of the server um, that's online. Uh, so for me, it's the IP address of my cPanel, which you can find by logging into your cPanel. Uh, down here, you're going to put your username for your cPanel. Uh, you're going to put your password for your cPanel right here. And then for the initial directory, um, I'm going to put timunker.com because that's where the folder is located, where my website folder is located. Um, Besides that, you can change this. This is using plain FTP, so it's not the most secure. So if you want something a little different, I think you can go and uh, require explicit FTP um, for a bit more security. All right, but anyways, I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, blur this out for a moment. And I'm going to save it. Now to access the remote server, I'm just going to click on this and you'll see it spins a little bit and it brings up all the files there. So now I can begin to go and create files. I'm going to go to the blogs folder here and to March 2022, which is the time of this recording. And I'm just going to type an A here. And that is the Atom shortcut for creating a blog when the cursor is over the folder you want to, or for creating a file when the cursor is over the file that you want to create, uh, or the folder where you want to create the file. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to call this sample blog dot markdown, and we'll give it a title of sample blog. And what I'm going to do uh, is just do control space, and that's going to give me the full screen, or I can you know I can toggle the rem remote with control space. Um, okay, so we're going to do a sample blog and let's just grab some warm Ipsum text here. So let's go here. We'll grab some warm Ipsum from Lipsum.com. So I'm just going to copy this, uh, do control C here, paste it in, uh, paste in a few more. Let's do uh, subheading two here. Paste in another paragraph. Let's do an unordered list. So this will be list item one. I'm just going to do control shift D to duplicate this line a few times. So this will be five. This will be, uh, that'll be four. That'll be three. That'll be two. And so on. And let's also do an ordered list. Uh, so this will be, now we can do an ordered list and mark down with just ones in front. So this is going to be what? Six, five, four, three, 
the two. And let's actually create a sub list here. So sub list item one and do a few of these. Okay. And okay. So we've got some lists. Um, let's do a link to Google. Yeah, just get our, our, our lorem epsom blog really, really nice. So uh, we'll get the link address. So I'm just doing typical markdown and we'll say the title will be a link to Google. So again, this is just basic, basic markdown here. Uh, let me go. Can I scroll down a bit? Okay. Um, all right. So we've got that and maybe we'll do a copyright at the bottom copyright symbol. You can write HTML into Markdown. So it'd be Tim Hunkert, all rights reserved. Uh, and we'll save it. And when we save it, you'll see that FTP remote edit says the file was successfully uploaded. So we're actually creating the file on our computer and that's uploading right to the server. Okay, so now with Adam, I can convert this to HTML. The one issue that I have with this is it's really tough to get the file to upload if you just click save as HTML. It kind of puts in this temporary buffer where it's basically you have to fiddle with it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control shift M and that's going to bring up a preview of our blog right here. And this is a preview with their styling thrown in there. What I'm going to do is just uh, click on copy as HTML. All right, and then I'm going to close this out here. And what I'm going to do here is go up here and I'll just type A again. And I'll type, type sample blog dot um, HTML. Sample blog dot HTML already exists. Hmm. Oops. All right, let's, uh, let's create a new file. Let's call it sample blog 2. .html. Uh, okay, cool. So that one doesn't exist. All right, so now uh, I'm going to do just an expansion. Uh, I just type HTML and hit tab. So Adam comes in with some built-in Emmet support. Uh, so we're going to get like a basic framework here. Now I could put in my viewport tag and my description tag and all that stuff. Uh, but for right now, we'll just call this sample blog two. Okay, go down here. Uh, I'm going to create a div and give it a class of container. And then I'm going to paste in that HTML. Okay, so that's going to be within inside that container there. And uh, I'm going to save this and that's going to upload the file. So now it's online. So what I can do is I can get some of the stuff from my index.html. And what I can do is just go copy the Google Analytics tag the Google fonts that I brought in. I'm going to copy this, bring it to sample blog to put this stuff below the title. And for the style, I'm going to, I want to go up two folders to get to the CSS folder because I'm in blogs and then in March, 2022. So to do that, I do two dots, forward slash, two more dots and a forward slash to get up to my CSS. You see, every time I save it, it tells me that it uploads it successfully. Um, and now it's bringing in those Google fonts as well. It's got the, uh, it's got the style sheet linked in. Let's just do the viewport while we're here. So to do that, uh, I type meta and I want the name to be viewport. And we're going to say, uh, with equals device dash with initial dash scale equals 1.1.0. Uh, and we can give a description as well. So, uh, and we'll say this is a sample blog about uh, Lorem Ipsum. Fascinating stuff. Okay, uh, I'm going to save that again. It's the green is telling me it's sending it up all nice and successfully. Uh, so this is sample blog too. So let's bring up the browser and just show you. I'm not going to link this off the home page because it's it's just a, a, a goofy blog, uh, which actually doesn't say anything. Uh, and so we go sample blog two HTML. And OK, so we have our title. We have our sample blog. We have uh, our list items uh, link to Google. Let me Shorten that, and we have our copyright, and the font is brought in. Now, if I wanted to say 
change this and uh, create a menu. Actually, no, I didn't want to delete that, but um, let me bring that back up. So go here to blogs, March 2022, sample blog two. I want to bring that one back up. And what I want to do is just take this stuff out because I'm going to recopy all that HTML. So I'm going to delete this stuff right now. And what I'm going to do is go to my sample blog dot markdown, go to the top. I want to make a little menu. Okay, that's easy enough in markdown. So I'll just do home and we'll go up to, we're going to use a relative link to index.html. Put a little pipe for a spacer. Let's do about and go up to to get to the about page.html. Do a little spacer. And last one we'll do is YouTube. And that'll be a link to my YouTube channel. So we'll just do that. Okay, and we're going to hit save. That's going to upload that file. We want to do control shift M to get the markdown. Again, I'm going to copy as HTML, take this, uh, just paste it in, do a save. That's going to send that file up. And now if I refresh, we've got a little menu that we created as well via markdown. So we've got a nice little blog here. And we can go back to the home page and I didn't link back to it, but I could. And that's how you create a nice little easy blog, edit remote files using Atom and that one package. It's very easy. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you give it a like as it will help get out to more people? I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.